Hey guys, got something pretty cool here. It's a Shell's coin game. And this one, oh, it's okay, it's a State of the Union one. Looks like I got Rhode Island. Cool. I think last year I got New Hampshire and I also got President Lincoln, I think it was. This was just sitting right on top of the surface. I actually went down to dig and I spotted it with my eyes. Very cool. Let's see if I can get a little close up for you guys. Alright, well, there it goes. Cool. Providence, Rhode Island. Sweet. Gotta be some good stuff here. Alright, guys, next find. I actually have no idea what it is. It's pretty cool, though. It's a screaming signal. Pretty ornate, too. It's got a. I don't even know what these are. Little rings all the way around it. And the inside is grooved. It's got this little weird, weird thing. Yeah, I don't know, maybe a bracelet or... Uh, I don't know. No, it's pretty cool. Alright guys, on to the next. Alright guys, we got something really cool here. It says, uh, the Union National Bank, number 310 of San Luis Obispo. And that's where I'm at right now, is San Luis and, uh... It says, we unlock this bank and credit you with contents. Man, that is awesome. I'm going to check the hole and see if there's any uh, silver in there. Man, that'd be freaking sweet. I don't know if it's silver or anything. I don't think it is. But that is really, really cool. Alright, guys. Well, see you at the next hole. Alright guys, got another cool little piece. Got a Shirley President Suspender Clip. Just gonna focus up for ya. Okay, well it's not focusing. It says Shirley President. Cool. Alright, now on. Hey guys, got a screamer signal here. I actually thought I was getting my very first ever uh, uh, half dollar, but got something really cool to token this is a good for 10 cent drink yeah pretty sweet it's aluminum i think that's why i'm a screamer and someone in the uh, drove a uh, square nail through it see that perfectly square pretty cool though i'm gonna get this all cleaned up and see if i can uh, get anything else off the back got something back there but yeah Cool guys, on to the next. Hey there guys, we got a cool little relic here. Silver plated spoon, pretty ornate too. Seems not focusing, okay there it goes. But this one actually has a date on it. It says 1847 Rogers and Bros. I think it has Roman numeral sevens. Seven, let me see if I can get that to focus for you. There you go. Look at that. I think this is my first uh, piece of silverware that has an actual date on it. Very cool. And, uh, I actually got something really, really freaking cool. It's not silver or anything, but I thought these were two zinc pennies that were just crusted together. But I started rubbing one of them, and I noticed it said scent on the back. <clears throat> I saw a little wheat ear right here. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go, right there. So yeah, it's a wheat penny, well, part of one. And then turned it over, and you can see the other one cent on the back. That is too freaking cool. Uh, I've only pulled uh, two wheats out of the same hole one time, but this, I think, tops it. This is awesome. Very unique find. Cool. I'm going to see if I can get a date off these. That'd be pretty sweet, but I don't know. Yeah, I found two wheat pennies that are stuck together. Yeah, like, they're, it, it's funky, man. They're weird. Well, it's only like, uh, like a half a wheat penny on each one. It's two half wheats. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, I'll get back to you if I find anything else good. Hey there, guys. Not too far from my uh, last find. I got this little... 
coin or token, I'm not too sure what it is, it's pretty thin, and it looks to be copper, so I'm guessing it's a token, and uh, I got my little, uh, uh, the cleaning supplies, so I'm gonna try to clean this for you guys, and um, yeah, let's see what we got here, so I'll put it up on my knee. tokens. Super fun to find. Actually, it's kind of difficult to do this one hand. And it is. All I see is good for 10 cents in trade. Oops, sorry. Let me get a better angle for you guys. So yeah, there's that. Good for 10 cents in trade. Get this side for you. I love finding tokens that actually tie back to the city that I'm in. That'd be awesome if this was one of them. This one says... Uh, I, don't, I can't even make that out. Rich, Rich Leo or... Richelieu, Richelieu, Orland, California, Orland, I mean, I've never even heard of that, weird, well, this could be good, it's cool, no matter what it is, I know it's a token, but I just don't know, I've never heard of that, uh, that city, well, cool, that's awesome, and it's about, uh, say maybe six inches deep, I thought I was going to get a wheat penny again, but this is much cooler. Alright guys, on to the next. Okay guys, I just dug the wheat penny right there. And uh, I passed up the signal. I was reading a 73 to like 77, but it was just sounding really, really scratchy. So I passed it up and I don't know why I went back and I checked it from another angle and it was a constant 77. But I got this cool little piece right here. I'm not sure if it's a token. It says uh, S, M, L, and C, Co. There's nothing on the back, and there's no loop or anything. So I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's a token. I've never seen anything like it. But that is super cool. I'm happy I uh, went back and dug it up. Cool. All right, guys. That's only like three feet apart, so. We'll see uh, if there's anything else good right here. Alright guys, on to the next. Hey there guys. Got a little oddball item. I don't know what it is. I found it, and it's shut like this. So, if any of you have any idea what it could be, please let me know, because I have not a clue. I'm thinking maybe a key? It's kind of a weird key though. If it was. I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep at this for a little longer and see what else I can pull up. Hey there guys. I'm out on a hunt right now with Mike and Jeff. They're uh, somewhere out on the, in the field. But I'm kind of working this little fence line right here. Um, we know that there's a little town here. Um, in the early 1900s, and I think it started late 1800s, like 1880, I want to say. But uh, so far, I've gotten uh, two Wheaties, uh, 1950 and a 44 plane, I think it is. And I got something kind of cool here. I got a little spill of some sort. Got uh, this shell and this coin shaped object. And I think it's got a hole punched out right there. So, um,. I'm going to shut the camera off, and I'm going to put some water on it, and brush it off, and uh, I'll get back to you guys if I find out what it is. Alright, so I've got it cleaned up the best that I can here on the field, and uh, the only word I can make up is mint, down there at the bottom. But the rest is pretty corroded, I'll get it cleaned up at the house and uh, show you guys some stills of it. Alright, see you guys in the next find. Hi guys, 
Got an old uh, pocket watch. Things all beat up. And cool. I'm gonna keep working this little area around this uh, small bunch of trees. Little palm tree right there. I think there were some houses right here or some structures of some sort. Got a map from 1904 and it uh, shows a few things right around here. So hopefully we get something good.